What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Merry Christmas. It is freezing cold down here in Southwest Florida. Listen, I'm not going to keep you here too long. You shouldn't be spending your day, your morning with Ripple Van Winkle. Listen to his YouTube video. You should be with your friends, your family, your loved ones. But I just want to go over a couple of quick things. I want everyone to realize what they own. I know the last couple of days have been harsh. We woke up this morning, it actually started last night, and XRP has been pumping. We were up almost near 40%. This is big news. We need to close the weekly above 30 and a half, or the monthly above 30 and a half, excuse me. And we're gonna be back on track, people. That is the key number to look out for as we enter the new year. XRP is currently sitting at 37 cents. The Bitcoin dominance is at 68.1, nearing its all time high. The market cap keeps climbing 667 billion. Listen, these altcoins, especially XRP, they're gonna go on a run. It's coming, it's happening. Has anything changed? Well, no, not really. We had a little bit of FUD coming out of the SEC. They wanted to be the Grinch. They wanted to crash the price of XRP as we go into this wonderful Christmas day and into the new year. That's okay. You know what? This is what we needed. We needed all of this to finally just get it over with, go to the courts, let the courts decide. We all know that XRP is not a security. We all know that XRP is a currency. I am about to play a video to you from someone who worked for the SEC for 18 years, who specifically said that XRP is not a security, that it is a currency. This is what we need though. We are finally gonna get the regulatory clarity that's needed. This is gonna help propel the XRP price up. Do I still see a massive, massive run? Absolutely. Do you think that this entire market is going to take off and just leave XRP sitting at 30 something cents? No, we're going to be back up to that 50, 60 cent region where we were. We're going to be back over a dollar before you know it. Was this a minor setback? Yes, but we are recovering very, very healthy. As you can see, XRP is up 37% compared to Bitcoin's five and Ethereum 7%. Yes, we are still down about, I don't know, 100% give or take, but that's not a big deal. We're gonna come back. What you need to realize is what you hold. You hold the fastest bridge asset, the fastest currency in the world that is going to be used by central banks all over the world, that's gonna be used by tier one banks, that's gonna be used by financial institutions, that's gonna be listed on NASDAQ. You own a piece of gold, people. XRP is going to dethrone Bitcoin one day. We're all gonna look back on this day and we're gonna laugh. Was this a big setback? I wouldn't call it big because XRP's price is still going to move. Would I call it a more of a, it hurt us, the XRP holder, because we were pushing, we were pulling, we thought a dollar was coming, we broke out at a 30 cent range. I would say yes. Did it crush a lot of people? Absolutely. But what I hate to see is people get weak hands, people get out and then this happens, this thing runs back up and you missed your opportunity because you tried to time the market and get in at the low. You can never time it, it's impossible. The best thing to do is the dollar cost average all the way from 70 cents back down to 20 cents where it hit 21 cents. I didn't sell a single XRP. I'm not here to trade. I'm not here to sell high, buy in low and try to two, three X my stack. If I want more XRP, I'm gonna buy it. That's what it comes down to. What happened was people got at, got out at 70. They thought this thing was gonna go all the way down to 10 cents or whatnot. They sold, they brought it back in, good for them. But a lot of people waited till the last minute. They got out around 21 cents thinking it was still going to go lower, but it didn't. Look where it shot back up. You just cut your stack in half. You have to be very cautious. You have to like research, learn how to kind of trade, see what the markets are going. You can't just read people's tweets and go off of them. People on Twitter are not right 100% of the times. I know that is shocking news to you. It's a 50-50 crapshoot where the bottom's gonna be, where the top's gonna be. Where do we go from here? Who knows? It's a 50-50 guess. If I get it right, I look like a hero. If not, eh, we move on to the next prediction. That's how Twitter works. What do I think's gonna happen? I think we're gonna float around this for a little bit longer, and I still think we're gonna have that boom in January. A dollar is going to be here before we know it, people. Now let's move over to this tweet, Roger Veer. All these people, all these influences, all these people who are into crypto and who started up crypto, 
who are actually tweeting about this, I applaud them because there have been people who have been running from this, like Pompliano. We all know what he is. I'm not going to curse. It's Christmas. I'm going to watch my voice. But what his tweet will forever sit in the XRP, in the Ripple people's minds, his true colors bled out, all because he lied on an interview with Brad about the whole China thing. Whatever. I don't need to get into it. But Roger Ver has come out. He said the SEC claims to protect consumers, but the reality is that they cause moral hazard to strain billions of dollars worth of wealth and protect incumbents against upstarts. It is time to let consumer reports replace at SEC News. I couldn't believe more. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't. I just lost my words. I couldn't agree more with Roger. Listen, the SEC, what they just pulled is absolutely ridiculous. You had eight years, SEC, to do something. Seven years. Five years, how many years you want to call it, it doesn't matter. The fact is, you had at least three, four, five plus years to do something, to, to sue Ripple, to figure this out once and for all, but you didn't, and people kept buying. How are you protecting the consumer if you knew eight years ago when XRP came out, or seven years ago when XRP came out, that this thing was a security? How did you let it build up that many years? letting people buy and then just come out and all of a sudden say it it doesn't take you seven years to build a law case a lawsuit that is absolutely ridiculous if you wanted to protect protect a consumer you would have stopped ripple from what they were doing right then and there you would have labeled xrp as security or you would have tried to take ripple to court over the classification of xrp of what they are doing but you didn't the fact that you left it alone and the fact that jay clayton was on stage many 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 of times and he always avoided the question and he he came out and he said we are not going to sit here and he's talking on behalf of the sec he says the sec is not going to sit here and label every coin if we have a problem with your coin if your coin is a security we will let you know we are going to come after you we've seen it happen with vos we've seen it happen with kin but the fact is that for seven years, they did nothing to XRP. They didn't say anything about it. It made everyone feel safe. If you have a problem with something, you come out and you say it. You don't wait seven years to drop a bomb like this. That is what it comes down to, which is absolute bull. Anyways, we're going to move over. Look, this guy, Michael Diddick, eight years, former U.S. SEC employee. Hopping over to his profile from Perkins Core. All right, this is Michael right here. As a part of Perkins Core Investment Management Practice of over 18 years of experience at the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission. 18 years, people. SEC experience and in private practice, Michael Duda represents asset managers on all aspects of the federal security laws. Mike is also a core member of the firm's blockchain industry group and helps startups, including fintech, blockchain, and cryptocurrency clients, navigate the federal security laws. Mike's practices focus on advising clients on the structure and private offering of onshore and offshore investment vehicles, registration, and compliance obligations under the SEC and state security laws and SEC examinations and inv investigations within a particular in-depth knowledge of the Investment Advisors Act of 1940 and the Investment Company Act of 1940. Listen, before I played a video with Michael, someone with 18 years of experience clearly states that XRP is not a currency uh, not a security, excuse me, that XRP is a currency, just like the, the G10 nations around the world have stated, just like Japan has stated, Thailand, Singapore, UK, you name it. They all, Switzerland, I can keep going. They all have said XRP is clearly a currency. You have this guy who worked for the SEC for 18 years, who navigates in and out of the SEC's filings for federal security laws, and he came out and he has clearly stated clearly stated people when i say clearly stated he was asked a question straight up do you think x oh what do you think xrp's status is if the sec came out to rule what would it be he clearly states and you're about to hear the video to get the exact words but he said xrp is not a security xrp is a currency don't take my word for it let's jump over to this video it's only 57 seconds but listen to what he says i hope it's loud enough here we go and the guy asking him the question i just lost his name oh ben losky i believe that is ben losky all the way on the left correct me if i'm wrong but i do believe it here is michael he is second from the end or if you look on the right hand side he is second from the right or the fourth seat and from the left have a listen
XRP as a security, and if you had to guess, what would you think the SEC would say? Start with our SEC expert. Uh, I, I don't think XRP is a security. I think XRP is a currency, and I, I mean, the reason why is when you think about the test that was laid out by the Supreme Court in 1946 in the, in the SEC v. Howey, which is probably all heard of the Howey test, it's a four-factor test, investment of money in a common enterprise with the expectation of profits um, based on the efforts of others. And you, you just you have, to, you have to satisfy all four prongs, so if one of those prongs is, is, is not there, you're not a security. So with XRP, Ripple could go away and XRP would still exist. And so there's no efforts of others in my mind. There you go. 18 years of experience at the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, that is the SEC people, clearly stated that he believes XRP is not a security, that it is clearly a currency. What is his main case? Ripple can go away and XRP would still exist. He is dead on. I'm going to quickly go over this MoneyGram news for you, then I'm going to let you go. We see a lot of FUD now, people coming out saying, oh, MoneyGram actually never used XRP, never used on-demand liquidity. Absolute bullcrap, people. Green Eggs and Ham, Sam, I am a man at Eggs, Ham, and Sam. He went over this. Two key statements to the code. First one, MoneyGram has continued to utilize its other traditional FX trading counterparties throughout the term of this agreement with Ripple and is not dependent on the Ripple platform to accomplish its FX trading needs. So what does this mean? This means that they have, they have not cut ties with traditional FX services and they currently have both options available to them. Yes, they have not cut ties with Ripple. People, wake up. Next, MoneyGram does not utilize the ODL platform or RippleNet for direct transfer of consumer funds, digital or otherwise. What does that mirror it means? It means they don't use it for consumer funds. They use it for corporate transfers. Examples, topping up their foreign Nostro accounts via on-demand liquidity in bulk to then issue payments against. This was to claim MGI investors, this was to calm MoneyGram investors, nerves people. Do not let this shake you out. It is fun. You ha you need to stop listening to websites that have no credibility, that have nothing behind them, okay? For example, there is a website called Bitcoin123. Are you gonna believe the news that they put out? No, of course not. Listen, when you see news, real news, that has a source, and the source even backs it up, or it's coming from like, I don't know, a major news publication, not some contributor to a website anyone can be a contributor people wake up stop reading this crap let's look at the price of xrp let's all laugh at it that it is back up 38.81 percent as we are sitting pretty at 37 cents remember we need to club the, close the month above 30 and a half cents and then we are back to where we need it to be i still see an epic bull run ahead of us and it is coming i thought it was gonna be this month but hey i got it wrong what i tell you 50 50 you get it right you're a hero you get it wrong you move on to the next one it's coming. It's coming any month now. I'm moving over to January. It's going to happen. We're going to start off 2021 with a bang. I have been saying that for quite some time. I do firmly believe it. This SEC news is complete crap. Just ask Michael S. Dudek, who worked for the SEC for 18 years. That's going to do it for me. Enjoy your Christmas. Happy New Year. Ripple Van Winkle is out.